Hey guys, back with another Maple Story in video here. This time, our fourth Lotus Clear. Honestly, our smoothest run of the day, um, except for this start. I don't even, I don't even want to talk about it. If you want to see the point of view, our DB um, recorded this run, and so we'll get to. Uh, I'll post it in the description below. You can see how um, and give him a hard time about that death because, uh, yeah, you wonder why Lotus is still stressful even after all these months and clears and successes it's because of that stuff like that just tilter for sure but um now nah, it was actually uh a good good laugh afterwards of course after we cleared it but in the moment that was just a great way to start the day but um overall i mean this is probably our smoothest run like i mentioned um even though i misclicked right there proc heaven's door we uh had a few newcomers from our old team that cleared everyone just wants to use us for our clears and then leave and uh ditch us after one time so two new first timers copy and Ethereus, thank you for coming and showing up hopefully we'll see you guys next week but um we also had our top nightwalker there to carry us as well so we had a few newcomers and um they handled phase one phase two phase three amazingly especially for their first you know clear overall so you can see about two minutes in we're we're doing really well with time and dps i think we had some pretty good threat rng but our dps overall people are just doing a lot more damage hanging in there um you know doing their part and it's um it's exciting to see that um every run people are just getting better and better even the newcomers are stepping up and doing their thing so we're about three minutes almost three minutes in getting up to benediction again um, we had some, you know, seven lives left still. So going to phase three, this is our best, going to be our best run death wise. Um, going into phase two, we're going to end up with only five left. And I die right there, right before Benediction came up, literally popped right as I died. So unfortunate timing for me, but just got rezzed back up, not an issue. And we're just standing there and DPSing. And so we're going to clear phase one here pretty, pretty soon with uh, about 345 left, I'm pretty sure. So great job by the team being able to DPS right here and just finish it off even while Thren was not up just until now. So there we are clearing phase one, moving on to phase two with good time left, about six minutes left. And that's about right on par with where we normally are. And phase two was a breeze for us, you know, as long as we hit Thren, shouldn't be an issue and um, this was actually the first run that i switched to physical damage percent blue jewels to test it out and i could really feel the difference compared to exp just a knockback effect in phase two and phase three just it's kind of aids kind of irritating uh, so i definitely wanted to see the difference but i think exp jewels are the play for phase two and phase three for that knockback resistance for me personally now moving on to phase three a little over five minutes left five lives looking really really good um i didn't think we were gonna have any issues or stresses in phase three and it actually ended up being a lot closer than i thought um we had a few platform phases that we were able to just stun right through and skip all together and um you know we were we had some pretty unfortunate purple orb phases towards the end that um kind of made us sweat a little bit to be honest but you see right there our stunned our platform phase just moving on dpsing our cooldowns are going to come back up in a little bit with echo and benediction and so here it is right here yep so now we're all just dpsing just trying to fight for you know podium first page whatever it is uh top two are kind of far away but the top three are pretty consistently up there. And so me personally, I'm trying to get to just trying to DPS as much as I can. Again, getting knocked back was a pain, but it is what it is. And fun to see in real time, kind of the DPS meters as we all jockey for position and people try to come up into, um, you know, new ranking, new levels on the chart. So about three minutes left, looking good, right? We have about 50%. Um, looking like it's going to be another PR around nine minute fight, but 
Um, like I mentioned right here, it's going to be, in, I think, within the next two minutes, we're going to have two purple orb phases. We didn't have our second shade, so we were down a split, which may have been a reason. Um, but overall, we did great DPS, great job by the team, really proud of them. We're still hanging on to those five death count lives left. We didn't have too many single deaths overall. So we were all able to maximize our DPS, keep that uptime. And kind of this two minute mark left here is when we uh looking good, you know, past the letter B in Berserk Lotus, feeling like we're gonna have a good time clearing about a minute, and then purple orb phase comes up. Always sketchy, but we did a great job surviving. Overall, it was really just lack of uptime on the DPS, about 15 seconds of not being able to damage. And that's just unfortunate RNG for us. And um you know, we're going to kind of move forward here, pray for good threat RNG to finish it off. One minute left, and our cooldowns are going to come back up. Benediction is going to come back up. So we're not really worried about DPS unless, of course, what happens is another purple orb phase in a little bit. So it made the fight a lot closer than it was. And then while we have a purple orb phase right here, right as my cooldowns come back up, I think threaten falls. And we're just looking at the timer, trying to survive three deaths, three lives left, and um, you know, finish it off overall. So right here, threads up, it falls, makes it a little sketchy, but we get the job done with plenty of time to spare. Thanks to the team, thanks for the newcomers, people that filled in last minute, and um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to see again the DB point of view, I'll put it in the caption comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.